M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the UVK5, K6 and the D75. And interestingly, did you know you can actually send APRS from the K5, K6 to the D75 without any modification to this apart from adding the firmware from KDH Charlie Echo Charlie. So watch this, we'll just go to menu. Like so, we are at menu seven, which is the TX menu. We've already entered our APRS frequency and other settings. We just press it twice. And we've just sent APRS. Now remember, 800 pound radio, these 15 pound. And this radio with the modifications from KDHCC will actually do whisper. Yes, the things like waterfall display, sending CW, SSTV, sending messages. So I'll put a link in to the, you know, to the firmware download. At the moment, this is a transmit only item. You can receive messages, but you have to make it, make a modification to a plug and then do it via your PC, which is all in the link that I will send you. We know that sending is menu number seven. So you go menu seven, like so. And then to transmit, you can hold the PTT or double press, that's the transmit menu. Now let's go to menu 32. Everything works as normal on this radio. 32, so you've got your, your channel memories there. If you look, it actually says 31, so it could be a change on that. Just looking at the, the information on the PC, but go to 31 where it says channel save, that is the key one, press menu, and as you go down, you'll see you can start to enter your GPS, a message, and then it's just go that, so there's a place where you can enter that information, and there's just my normal memory channels. Now go back up until you see, and it's menu 3 of 65. Now you see UInfo, when you go enter, you can add, sorry, add your call. That's a CW message. That's my name that I put in, Hamtech. Your grid, GPS latitude, I just kept it very short, 52. Longitude. And then I've, I've selected wide one in mine. APRS2, SSTV look. I've only just touched the surface on this. So the more information you add, the more it's gonna display up on your radio. And of course, if, you, if your radio is making the APRS network, so an external antenna, you're gonna get onto APRS FI with this as well. And the messages and information that you add is all going to be there. So thanks for watching my channel. The links are in the description for how you can do this. I've also made a video loading the loading the firmware, but it's the normal way. Turn the radio off, plug in the cable while turning on, hold the PTT, and then just use any firmware loading program for Quashang radios because they all work to load the firmware. And you know, I take my hat off to all developers, whether it's Exuma, IJV, um, KD. See on this in this case, and um, I'm just like playing around with them all. We've got this very low cost radio, and we can do all the things that we normally have to spend a lot of money to do. So, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now, 7 3.